So if you want to make characters that look like this and not like this, in this video, I'm going to show you how in a very easy way. All right, guys. So the first thing that you need to do is to actually enable MetaHuman options here in the engine installation options. You will go to MetaHuman Creator or data you will hit apply and it will download the necessary files and so what you need to do next after you do that you just need to go to edit plugins then go to metahuman and here you will see a bunch of plugins you just need to enable the metahuman creator beta and all the necessary plugins will be on by default now what you don't have is the lifelink and animation calibration processing but you don't need this for now so uh, when you start creating a metahuman let's just go for let's just call this tutorial character and what you need to do is just right click go to metahuman and go to metahuman character and this will be my female metahuman and as soon as you do that, you will create a new asset and double, you can double click on this and you will open MetaHuman Creator. Now, keep in mind, after you enable the plugins, you need to restart the editor. So this is the MetaHuman. This is the default values. And to be honest with you, you can play a lot with it. You can create a lot of things and you can create a lot of bad things uh, and not necessarily what you're looking for. So. What I recommend is to start with some presets. So for example, if I know I'm going to make a female character, I'm just going to go for this one, for example, and then just go to apply preset. And what it will do is to actually just download all the values that this character has and apply it into my character. So you will see that now I have my, my new character and it will take some time to load all the assets and eventually I will also have hair and whatnot. Now, this looks this looks okay to me, but it doesn't look very stylized. And you can see that most metahumans are actually, you know, very, very real sometimes. And maybe that's not what you're looking for. I'm gonna go here to LOD if you have a computer like me where you know it's not really good you can use always use hair cards because usually the thing that makes your <laughs> metahuman a little bit heavy is those hair cards so you can just go here to head and you can start you know um moving things around like you can start moving the you know the cheek and everything you can sculpt and you know it's it can get quite nasty. It it does get quite nasty sometimes. Uh, you can increase the, <laughs> the nose like that. Uh, it looks like my nose here. Uh, so what I recommend is look for a character or make a character that you find a uh, feeling. Like for myself, I do have a character. Uh, it's called a uh, cute girl. That's an asset that we we sell. So if you take a look at this character, it already has some nice features on it, but it's not like as realistic as MetaHuman, you know? So what we need to do is to actually transfer this data into our MetaHuman. So what I'm, we're gonna do is go to our content browser, go to our tutorial character, and let's just save everything just in case. And what we need to do is to create, a, go to MetaHuman and go to MetaHuman Identity. And this will be my cute girl identity. Double click on this. And then what you need to do is go here to create components from mesh. And here I will try to find my mesh cute girl. And I can just find the, the one that I'm using with the skeletal mesh here. So I will just click on that. And what you will see is that my character will be loaded here. There you go. So that's my character. So what do we do now? Well, uh, we need to check uh, all the features here. So by default, uh, you can use unlit mode to detect the features faster. But in my case, 
this character already had like a lot of subsurface scattering and, and whatnot. So I'm just going to go for lead to show you how it looks like. And what I need to do is to just click on this neutral post and go to plus, just promote frame for tracking. Uh, there you go. Click OK. And what you will see in a moment uh, after it loads is that you will see that it actually will detect the eyes, the nose, and the and the mouth. So you can just go here, auto tracking on, and there you go. So that's the that's the tracking. So now that you have this, you can lock the camera so that you don't really move it around, and then just go for MetaHuman Identity Solve, and it will run the solver, and it will basically give you a MetaHuman that you can use in the MetaHuman Creator. So as soon as you have that, now you have your identity. You will see here that you have your cute girl identity and you have your SK cute girl identity. So let's save everything. And now what we need to do is just close this. We don't need this. We don't need this as well. And what we need to do is to actually change this. And we're going to do this by clicking conform. And we're going to go from identity. And you will see that I have my cute girl identity. So as soon as I click on that, click conform, you will see that my face will actually change to conform to the basically you know, the, the character that I was having before. And it looks much, much better. And especially when you compare it with this one, like this mesh is actually pretty good, but compared to MetaHuman Detail, uh, there's nothing to compare about. Oh, you can actually play with the studio lining here. So for example, you can go for, I like, I like this one a lot. I think this one is my one of my favorites. So. Now you can see that you, you can actually play with the hair. And not only that, uh, if you want to see how it really looks with amazing hair, you can use the Alembic file for the hair. And you can see that my video memory is starting to <laughs> work a little bit. But you can see that now my MetaHuman is uh, much more pretty. And the reason for that is I'm using a very good base. So you either have the option you can sculpt it yourself using all those parameters and play with it. Or you can already use a very stylized mesh uh, that you can get from the marketplace or some other assets that you may want to use. Maybe you like a character from Paragon. Maybe you like, like a character from another game or one of those free epic samples. And you will create a very unique identity. So with this, uh, you can have a very, very cool face very unique you can always change the values later for example you can you can go for let's just go for materials let's just go for makeup and we can start putting some some makeup here just like this and we can also go here and maybe put some lipstick maybe put it a little bit darker there you go change the opacity and you can have, you you know, makeup can, can change quite a lot of things in the face. So feel free to play with that. And that's it, guys. That's it. If you want to learn more, we have tons of tutorials in our YouTube channel. If you want to take a look at what we do, take a look at our website, take a look at our game development program where you can start creating a game from scratch and publish it into Steam. If you want to learn more about MetaHumans, just let me know in the comments and I will go deeper into this. That's it. See you in the next one.